Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Common Scenarios Droll and Lockbird Okay, so all I want to say is, is that now we're go going to talk about Droll and Lockbird and the common scenarios that you see with Droll and Lockbird. Like before, I'm going to get AI and program them, program a referee AI, you know, to do, to explain the rules and other AI to do dueling and to have freeze frame of duels like before. Hope you enjoy this and see you soon for the next video that I'll be doing in this series. Let's get on with the rest of the video. I now activate Dimension Shifter. It's time as I special summon Cash Chira Unicorn. Oh. I activate Cash Chira Unicorn's effect. Wait a minute as I respond with Droll and Lockbird. I don't think you can do that. What do you mean by that? Let's call a judge to clarify this situation. Droll and Lockbird's activation condition requires the card to go to the graveyard to activate. Because of Dimension Shifter, all cards sent to graveyard are banished. This means Droll and Lockbird's effect to stop adding will not apply as it can't meet its activation condition. I normal summon. Alubert the Jester of Despia. I activate Olubert's effect. Wait a minute. I will respond with Droll and Lockbird. I won't let it end here. I chain Forbidden Droplet, sending Guiding Quim from Hand and Alubert from Field. That should allow me to dodge your troll and Lockbird. Let's break this down. First a Luba was summoned, then opponent activated Droll and Lockbird. After this activation, the response was then to activate Forbidden Droplet. Sending Guiding Quem the Virtuos from hand, and Aluba the Jester of Despia from field as a response to dodge Droll and Lockbird. Well all this to say, Droll and Lockbird still resolves. Why? Because Droll and Lockbird, doesn't target a monster when it activates. It simply says to stop adding any more cards for the rest of this turn. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.